Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you a quick little Trader Joe's uh, haul that I did today. I have two bags, one of which is right here. I have one more over here. I actually went to Trader Joe's specifically for, here <laughs> you can see me finally, um, specifically for the cauliflower gnocchi, which they didn't have. But of course, while you're there, you have to pick up other things that are delicious. So I will show you what I got in my quick haul. Are these chili lime chicken burgers these are awesome I love these um, I keep these in my fridge all the time or freezer because they're frozen um, it's an easy meal they're pretty clean too it's just ground chicken onions bell pepper garlic cilantro natural flavors salt lime juice concentrate red pepper flakes so the only questionable questionable ingredient here are the natural flavors um, but other than that it's pretty good it's 150 calories for one burger and um, they're really great so I recommend these oh I actually had these also I couldn't help myself I opened them while I was driving home um, these are the rolled corn tortilla chips chili and lime flavor to tell you the truth I'm not a huge fan they're very, very flavorful. Um, it's just too much, I feel like. So, I don't know. But then I found myself eating them, so who knows how I feel, really. I don't even know why I bought them. I don't know, sometimes you walk through Trader Joe's and you see something and you're like, oh, I want that, and you buy it. And you get to the uh, cash register and you're spending $100 when the only thing you went to go get is cauliflower gnocchi figure what else um these the cauliflower rice i always have these in my freezer at least two packages um i just recently ran out these are amazing this is just cauliflower um and salt so great stuff i have a bunch of recipes also of how i prepare it on my channel so go there since they did not have the cauliflower gnocchi that I wanted, I just got regular gnocchi. Uh, I'm not super happy about it, but today's recipe is with gnocchi, so I needed gnocchi. Uh, what else? Oh, I just got two apples, red apples. Nothing super exciting. I got the two Bulletproof Collagen Protein Bars. These are the, what is it, vanilla shortbread flavor. This is the only flavor that I like. Um, and the reason I get these is because sometimes um, at night I would like to have a little something sweet. And these are sweet and they do taste like shortbread. Um, but they're healthier for you than some cookies, so sometimes I'll take a little piece. And I'll open one, and then I'll take a little piece throughout the week or something. So I don't sit down and eat the whole thing all at once. Then I saw this apple cider jam, and the ingredients sound pretty good too. Um, the first ingredient are diced apples, which is fantastic, because you know that whatever the first ingredient ingredient is in something that means that there's the most of that in the product so since I'm getting apple cider jam you would hope that the first ingredient would be apples and it is so that's a good sign um, cane sugar which not fantastic but I mean it's jam so what am I expecting um, water cider lemon juice fruit pectin spices malic acid I don't know what fruit pectin is um, but besides that again sounds pretty clean for a jam and something that's uh, processed I actually need this for a little dessert that I'm going to be making on Thursday which I will show you the recipe as well so keep an eye out for that then I got two deli pasta squashes um, I think you guys saw my recipe 
for the fall veggie tacos and I used this delicata squash for that. Um, I'm gonna be making a salad with roasted delicata squash. So I needed that. I love delicata squash and for some reason I can only find it around this time of the year. So I'm trying to make as many recipes with that as I can. And then I also got some figs because I love figs. Figs are one of my favorite um, fruit and I feel like the season's almost over so I wanted to get it and maybe I'll also add them to a salad, who knows. Um, but I just like snacking at them like when I'm hungry. And let's see what's in here. Shrimp, frozen shrimp. I usually get these, this is $9.99, so it's a pretty good price. I don't understand why shrimp are so expensive. Um, it's kind of stupid and drives me nuts, but I like a nice shrimp uh, salad or um, tacos or anything like that. So I like to keep some shrimp in the freezer for like last minute recipes. Um, I got pastry dough. Again, this is for the dessert that I'm going to making. So just to give you an idea, it's like a little apple tart. So it's this, next to spread a jam on the tart on the pastry dough and then sliced apples. Um, and then you configure them and make them look like a little rose. They're really, really cute and they're super delicious and quick to make as well. So I will make a video for that so you can watch it. Um, but it's still delicious. What else? I got egg salad, this right here. This, my friends, is gold. Mwah. It's so good. Um, ingredients, not so good. Okay, a bunch of crap. I'm sure you could make your own egg salad at home much healthier with just eggs, um, salt, pepper, and some mayo, chives, or whatever you wanna add. Um, and this has a whole list of ingredients. Look at all of this. I mean, egg salad shouldn't have a whole list of ingredients like this. But listen, this is so good. I can't help myself. I don't get it all the time, just sometimes. So, hey, whatever. I like eating these with like a little cracker, a little pretzel. Um, I have these Vasa cracker things. Actually, let me show you. These. These are great. Um, and I will spread this on top of this and have a little snack midday. Really tasty. Close this cabinet. I'm almost done. I got two avocados. On Friday, I want to make turkey burgers with either like sliced avocado on top or um, guacamole. So I needed some extra avocados. So I got that. And I needed some more almond butter. So I got this creamy one. Love this one. Ingredients are fantastic. Raw almonds. Oh, and that's it. Huh, look at that. Usually it's the nut and the salt. That's my go-to ingredients, but this is even better. And it tastes amazing. I add these to my smoothies. I just made banana muffins um, that are gluten-free. Uh, dairy free and refined sugar free and I'm sure I have posted this recipe already so look at my list of videos um, but I added this to it which is why I ran out of uh, on butter and I, I needed to get a new one almost done, almost done. <sighs> what is this yellow lentil and brown rice pasta it's like spaghetti this is awesome ingredients are great um, organic yellow lentil flour, organic brown rice flour, water. The end. That's what I like to see. Um, I would actually prefer this to only be lentil rice, uh, excuse me, lentil flour and water, not brown rice. Um, but beggars can't be choosers. They do have like different styles of pasta that are only lentils and I do get those, but I wanted to get a spaghetti because I'm thinking of making a bolognese. And I don't know, like I can't eat a bolognese with rigatoni or something. Like I need a spaghetti noodle. So that's what I'm going to use. But this one's pretty good. Oh, did you 
guys see this? They have candles now. This is a vanilla pumpkin sanded, scented candle. I can't speak today, I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, it smells so good. And what does it say? Made with natural soy wax blend, lead-free cotton wick. I didn't even know there was lead in uh, candle wicks. Who knew that? Why? Why would you put lead in a candle wick? See, like, I just don't understand. There's no need for that. So, I mean, it smells amazing, and I really hope once you light it, it's gonna smell really good. Sometimes you get a candle and it smells so good in the store, and you get home and you get it all nice and you light it, and then there's no scent. And you feel like you just wasted your money. But we'll see. I have high hopes for this. I will let you know if this is good. Hopefully my house will smell like vanilla pumpkin deliciousness. And I have one last thing. This is so good. Dark chocolate almonds, the sea salt and turbinado sugar. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but if you have a sweet tooth like I do, these are amazing. I love chocolate with a little sea salt. I love dark chocolate. I love almonds. It's just everything that I love. So I usually have a few at night before I go to bed. Maybe I'll make a little mint tea. It's heaven. I recommend these if you haven't picked up on that. So my friends, That's all, that's all I got for you. I told you, it's a quick little haul. Nothing super duper exciting, but hopefully I inspire you to keep watching my videos. Subscribe. Um, no, but really, maybe you guys will get an idea of what to buy uh, when you go to Trader Joe's and what to not buy. So I hope you come back. I hope you keep watching my videos. I hope you come and follow me on Instagram at, at livealittle629. I post my dinner recipes every day on uh, stories. And then I also post that on IGTV so you can rewatch. And that's it. I hope you enjoy this. I will see you soon. Bye.